Welcome to Bio Vivacious. I'm Sebastian. Bio Vivacious is a YouTube channel to make fundamental concepts of biosciences clear, vibrant, and exciting. Today, we are going to discuss about types of data. Data is a very important concept in biostatistics. So, let us begin by writing the marks students have got in the last examination. So let us assume that it is uh, uh, 45. One student has got 45 marks. Another student is 43. Next is uh, 18 marks. Another student has got uh, 50. So 37, 53, 82, uh, 55, 36, 14, 72, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 11 data. Okay. So this is a very random arrangement of data. If the smallest number here is uh, 14 and the highest number is 82. So therefore, this kind of an arrangement of data is what we call, uh, it is an ungrouped data. So we call this one an ungrouped data. So later on we will see that how do we arrange this ungrouped data. So remember this is an example of an ungrouped data. We get into the next kind of data we are likely to encounter uh, in our studies. So let us begin by doing a very simple game. Assume that uh, uh, I am going to distribute chocolates in this circle. So therefore chocolates are scattered everywhere. So each one is a chocolate and then I ask you to keep collecting the chocolates. So after some time all of you will have, would have collected the chocolate and this circle will be empty because there are no chocolates remaining. All the chocolates have been collected. So now we ask the question um, how many of let us say this is the number of chocolates. number of chocolates okay chocolates so we say that uh, maybe you know one chocolate somebody has collected one chocolate somebody else has collected two chocolates somebody has collected three chocolates somebody has collected four chocolates and somebody has collected five chocolates so in the number of students who have collected one chocolate so i'm sure that some of you will lift your hands maybe about three students have collected uh, one one chocolate how many have collected two chocolates? Maybe nobody has collected uh, two chocolates. How many have collected three chocolates? Maybe one student has collected three chocolates. Another two students has collected four chocolates. Maybe another five students have, or let's say four students have collected five chocolates. So therefore, now what we are going to do is, uh, uh, in the number of chocolates, that is more or less a stable constant it is stable so if the number of students can keep varying so therefore this number of students is called independent variable so the independent variable now onwards we will express by using xi value if the number of students that can keep varying that is dependent on the number of chocolates so therefore it is called a dependent variable which is denoted as fi value so in the two terminologies now we onwards we will be using one is xi another one is fi this kind of an arrangement so this is basically grouping data this kind of an arrangement is called discrete distribution discrete distribution The third kind of uh, data arrangement is, we can say that assume there are students who have collected six chocolates and uh, two students have collected six, cho uh, two ch uh, six chocolates. So we can also arrange this data in another manner. How many have collected between one to two chocolates? How many have collected between, let's say three to four chocolates? How many have collected between five to six chocolates? So this is what we call a class interval. 
it is a class interval so therefore we know that how many have collected from one to two chocolates one to two chocolates so therefore there are three students so we write it is three students that is the frequency of its occurrence so therefore we denote it as fi value so one to two chocolates only two students three to four students another three students five to six chocolates another six students this kind of an arrangement is known as continuous distribution continuous distribution so therefore the kind of data that you will encounter during a biostatistic session is you will come across ungrouped data then you will find two kinds of grouped data that is discrete distribution and continuous distribution i believe that this session has been very useful for you in understanding the kind of data we will encounter in the future sessions so from now we will take this data uh, for further mathematical analysis hope you enjoy this session all the best